Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar we're going for the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as it is going to become a bit more of a mobile pattern as we head into next week as westerly winds start to properly return. It does mean that for most we should get rid of the gloom and the drizzle and we should see some more up and down temperatures that has been pretty persistently cold over the past week or so. As we head into the longer range for the first or the final full week before Christmas, it does look like, as said, it will be a fairly mobile Atlantic pattern. Oscillating between colder and milder sectors could see some quite big areas of rain, some stronger winds. And because of this higher mobility, wouldn't even rule out the possibility of another quite severe storm system. And if that did occur, it could get pretty lively indeed for the lead up to Christmas. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link is in the description. Now if you start on the live road, you can still see it is fairly dry at the moment, especially further southwards. But we've still got a lot of gloom around, it's pretty moist with low cloud. And there are big areas of light to moderate drizzle. Some of this sort of crops up on the live radar some of it doesn't so even areas here that have not got any green here indicating precipitation there is still quite a high chance that drizzle passes through and it can be quite heavy at times can be quite soaking but most of the time it's just that thicker cloud you can see further north as westwards a bit more in the wane of precipitation starting to move in which again is signs that we are seeing more mobility more of a stronger westerly wind which hopefully is the beginnings of that more mobile pattern into next week if you look at the temperatures still pretty cold hardly getting above kind of five or six degrees really quite chilly and of course all that cloud and gloom it does feel really quite horrible out there and this will be lasting another couple of days before it does start to move away through monday and tuesday now, if you look at the latest UKV now, you can see that gloom and cloud persisting through rest of Friday into Saturday, still gloom further southwards. But through Saturday evening into Sunday, we start to see a bit more mobility, but still cloud and gloom will persist. It's really though into Monday, look at that, much clearer skies into the afternoon as we start to see some slightly drier air moving in. And you can see that continues into Tuesday and Wednesday. More mobile, which does mean there will be drier slots, there will be some more sunshine. But unfortunately, it also does mean that there'll be areas of heavy rain and also the risk of some stronger winds. So, so we do get the upside of some of those sunnier, drier conditions, but equally, we potentially will see some more heavy about bouts of rain. If we look at the temperatures now, you can see as we head through Friday afternoon, look at that, only five or six degrees. And as we head into Sassir Frost in northern areas and into the afternoon, again, six, seven degrees at best. If we do move into Sunday, similar conditions, maybe only 10 to 12 degrees by the afternoon. So starting to improve and that looks like the pattern to persist next week. So more in the way of double digits, slightly milder with a bit more sunshine will feel a little bit more positive out there into the full week leading up to Christmas, uh, getting rid of that gloom, getting rid of those very cold conditions. But as we head into the day leading up to Christmas, there could there is a real possibility we do see something a bit chillier returning in the way of north and northwesterly winds. Nothing too persistent, but perhaps chilly for a few days, uh, oscillating between milder and colder sectors. Now, if you look at the latest GFS, you can see those west and northwesterly winds starts moving next week and it oscillates between milder and colder sectors as we head into the lead up to christmas look at that strong westerly flows really quite deep areas of low pressure there into christmas day so quite a big contrast to some of the runs we've been seeing recently where it's a bit more of a northerly flow this is a very strong northwesterly wind look at those upper air temperatures trying to pull in some really quite cold air but of course taking a very long sea track we can actually be pulling in much of this cold air you see it does lose a lot of its intensity as it moves in what we're more likely to see is a very strong temperature contrast and that equals exceptionally heavy rain there through christmas day unfortunately so it would be a pretty horrible christmas day uh, and of course very strong winds would be around with these areas of low pressure as well so not ideal at all into the subsequent days we stay with this western northwesterly wind and again it does look like it will be chilly and unsettled there between Christmas and New Year. It's still too far away to say with any real uh, deal on cert uh, of certainty, but at the moment, this is the favored pattern. If you compare to the GM, 
It's broadly very similar. High pressure in control at the moment. That westerly flow returns next week. And then we see bouts of northwesterly and even northerly winds at times in the lead up to Christmas. But generally not expecting anything too mild or too cold. All really hovering around average. Below average for a period of time. Maybe above average for a period of time. Real uh, oscillating, as I said, up, uh, up and down conditions. If you compare to finally to the ECM WF, again, that westerly flow returns next week. Perhaps a bit of a northwesterly wind moving in for a time. And then right there, lead up to Christmas, quite a long, far-fetched northerly wind, but it's not really accompanied by any major blocks. So it would be chilly, frosty for a couple of days before eventually those westerly winds return. And again, for Christmas Day, a quite a big, deep area of low pressure to our north. Could be pretty lively there for that, uh, for Christmas Day, Boxing Day. Could be even be a named storm if that stays at that intensity. So that is something we do need to keep an eye on. Equally, if that clears eastwards, we see a bit of mid-Atlantic ridge. With the strength of those winds, how tight those isobars are, wouldn't be surprised if we actually saw some colder air getting pushed in behind it. But again, we'll have to wait and see. If you look at the latest ensembles, you can see the oscillating pattern over the next week. Chilly over the next couple of days, much milder as we head into early next week. Chilly again late next week, and it stays pretty cold there for the three or four days leading up to Christmas. And then around Christmas, into the days following, quite a big spread between slightly above average, slightly below, but not really seeing massive deviations. Haven't got any severely cold runs, haven't got any massively mild runs either, kind of hovering around average, probably favouring slightly below average there, especially uh, sort of the lead up to Christmas. But you can see it's getting down to kind of minus three to minus five degrees at 850 HPA. So cold, but not cold enough for widespread wintriness. As I know, some people, of course, would be wanting that around the Christmas period. You can see with the two metre temperatures, it's chilly over the next couple of days, slightly milder next week, 10 to 12 degrees, but it won't last too long, maybe three or four days. And then into the days leading up to Christmas, back down to kind of four to six degrees. So chilly, below average, but nothing amazingly cold, of course. If we need snow or something like that, we need to be a few degrees cold, maybe only two or three degrees by day. And of course, if we look at the dew points, you need the dew points to be more below low freezing you see here there's quite a few runs still above freezing which does put that in a little bit of jeopardy so definitely possibility of something colder maybe a bit of wintriness around for the days leading up to christmas but not expecting anything too major at this stage of course it could evolve it could slowly get a little bit colder over the coming days could be a bit more of a stronger high pressure system in the north atlantic that is a real possibility but at the moment we can only really talk from what we're seeing with the latest runs and that is for a chilly but unsettled pattern there for the lead up to christmas and finally if we compare to the ecm the f ensembles it's broadly very similar very up and down over the next couple of days slightly chillier than average lead up to christmas but Pretty similar in terms of not too much deviation from average. There are a few runs five degrees colder than average, and there are a few runs five to ten degrees above average, but nothing really standing out uh, through that Christmas period. So at the moment, as I said, chilly, unsettled, maybe even a bit stormy if one of those low pressure systems really gets going, like that system we saw from the GFS and even the ECMWF on Christmas Day, in fact, to the north of us. If that got going, then yeah, could be really quite horrible. But at the moment, chilly, unsettled temperatures mid single digits that looks like what we're, uh, the recipe we're going to see kind of not the best of anything really not cold enough for winchiness for snow for that kind of christmas feel but then not mild enough for you not to need perhaps even hat and gloves and things like that so kind of in between cold but not very cold uh, and it does look like it will be pretty unsettled as well so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon